The EMBU meeting covers a wide range of topics, so it's very different from uh, the very specialized conferences that are currently being organized. So I see it uh, as a meeting where you can hear uh, some of the very best researchers in Europe and abroad uh, talking about your favorite topic, uh, but also um, I see it as an opportunity where in, a few day, in just a few days you can uh, hear about different topics and really catch up what is the current level of understanding in this field, what are the current technologies, um, and these are fields that you might not be very familiar with. And so and, and I think it's a, an opportunity to get also new ideas that might be useful for your own research. Well, my personal highlight is the uh, plenary session on RNA biology. This is, uh, of course, a field with a uh, long history. It has long been realized that RNA is one of the major carriers of information in the cell. And it's a field that has developed enormously, continuously, and uh, with new development, new uh, technologies, but also new discoveries that uh, we didn't expect only a few years ago. So, for example, gene silencing by microRNAs. This is a field that, you know, since its discovery a little bit more than 10 years ago has evolved into a major thriving area of research and we will have Elise Zauralde in the preliminary uh, session to talk about this. For, in the case of uh, processes uh, that have been known for, for longer, for example, ribosomal uh, biogenesis or RNA turnover, um, Again, there have been uh, many new developments. We only start now really to appreciate uh, the intricate networks of protein complexes, protein RNA interactions. Uh, we really start now to start approaching this problem by a mathematical modeling, for example, and we will have David Tollerbe uh, in the plenary session to discuss this aspect. And finally, uh, one of the most exciting uh, things for me is to, to, to see the developments uh, of technologies that allow you to follow an RNA molecule in living cells at the single molecule level and to look at dynamics in vivo. And we will have Rob Singer uh, in the plenary section to, to discuss this aspect. So it's going to be a great session uh, with three of the leading speakers in the field. The EMBO meeting has uh, an informal setting and organizes uh, various settings actually where young researchers can talk to senior researchers and to, to, to speakers. So uh, my advice would be, you know, of course you can discuss with, you can talk with them, uh, to, to them about their uh, science, about their talk, but you can also ask more general questions on where their field is going, you know, what are the big unanswered questions, uh, what boundaries need to be pushed. Uh, and so on and so forth. And this is going to be very useful information if you're a student who has to think what to do next, which uh, postdoc, what to do for your postdoc. And if you are a postdoc who is thinking of the next uh, level, uh, you can use this setting also to present your ideas and your vision. The speakers are coming from leading institutions. They are on the lookout all the time for, um, you know, exciting researchers and new talents. So you should take use, you know, make use of this opportunity and you should enjoy science and enjoy Nice.